Today, we are starting a brand new series. A brand new series called Poppin' or Floppin'. So basically what this series is gonna be is just testing a bunch of highlighters. Oh, you already saw your, oh, well you read the title, I'm dumb. Anyways, we're just gonna be testing a bunch of highlighters. This is a series about highlighters. Obviously I will always be telling my 100% truth, true and honest opinion. So you will never expect anything else except the truth, okay? Okay, even though it's not a brutally honest review, this is still a brutally honest review. But it's a series about highlighters. So the first highlighter that we are going to review is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And literally, I have been waiting for this. The day that it came out, it sold out and I was freaking out and then I found like this link and then all of a sudden like the link brought me to the glow kit and it wasn't sold out so like I don't really know how that happened but it happened but anyways I got it and I'm so excited first of all let me tell you about this packaging I thought it was gonna be like a plain peach no it's literally glittery I don't know if it's going to show up on camera but literally this peach part of the packaging is like glittery it is absolutely beautiful it's so sleek so pretty looks like the moonchild glow kit except person wait oh shoot no it's a lot bigger it is a lot bigger hold up actually let's see like the pan size differences oh okay yeah so the pans in the nicole guerrero glow kit are actually bigger than the Moonchild one, so that's just a little size reference. Let's just do some swatches because I cannot keep my hands out of these pans for too much longer, not gonna lie to you, but let me get my favorite brush. I just cleaned it too, so. <laughs> Let's get to popping. So this is the Anastasia A23 brush. Favorite brush ever to use for putting on highlight because I feel like it super duper packs that it makes it pop in. It makes all of the highlights should pop on your face. This is the best brush. Be best, br best brush to use is this one. <gasps> oh, holy pigment. Oh my gosh. Okay, so then we have Forever Young and Daydream. Okay, the pigmentation. Holy booty do! Yeah, that's forever lit. Forever lit. And then the last two are Glow Getter and 143. You guys, these are literally as pigmented as like Makeup Geek foiled shadows or like just like Makeup Geek shadows in general. And if you saw my review of Makeup Geek, you know that it's like my new favorite brand of eyeshadows because the pigmentation is literally out of this world. And the pigmentation of these is out of these world. I am so impressed. This is going to be the new best highlight kit for the summer because I feel like all of these shades are like super summery and like bronzy and just like I feel like they would look amazing on tan skin or like dark skin oh my gosh you dark skin girls out there this especially that orangey one that would be absolutely beautiful I can already see it I can picture it in my head I'm so impressed oh the only thing that's kind of concerning me at the moment is will it look good on extremely pale skin? Will it? We don't know. We're going to test. I feel like with the orange shade and the darker toned shades, because as you can see there are a lot of brown, bronzy shades, I feel like I will have to go like light handedly. I don't know if I can go as heavy handedly as I usually do, but I feel like the glow is so intense that you won't even need that much in the first place. So I'm first going to try this Forever Lit one because obviously it's literally stark white and I feel like that one 
that would be the one that would best suit my skin tone. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I went like super lightly. So if you trying to be all natural, you trying to do that natural look, you can still do natural look super lightly, super lightly you get that soft glow, but <laughs> when do I ever go for a soft glow? Never. So I'm gonna pick up more and just like go ham on these cheekbones though. Woo! Literally, okay, first of all, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Like I'm just looking in the viewfinder right here and I can see it. I can see it. I can see that. <sighs> so now I'm just going to put some of this color called Kitty Cat like right over it, but like more where you would put blush because I feel like that would be such a gorgeous like blush topper. I'm the type of person that gets so extra with my glow that I literally take peach toned highlights and use them as blush toppers because I just want to be glowing all over my entire face. Like, I don't know about you, but I feel like this is the absolute perfect blush topper. As you can see, how I do that is I kind of just bring it, okay, so if you have like the apples of your cheeks, just place that like right above that. So you still have that like peachy blush tone on your skin, but you got that pop of light hitting right there. I don't know about you, some people don't like that, but I really like that when you can look straight at somebody and you can still see their glow like hitting right there. But like when you turn your head, somebody call 911, I think that I am making people blind. Okay, so now I'm going to take, huh, I don't know which one, but I'm feeling like this one looks a lot like the Becca Opal. The pigmentation is just 10 times better with this ABH kit. Look at that compared to um, Becca Opal. The shine and like the highlight qualities, I just feel like just shows up on camera much better with this one. Um, although this, although the Becca ones are still awesome, like literally, we're, I, I, I think this is, this explains it all. Thank you. I don't even think I have to tell you twice. First of all, I feel like this color is a little bit dark for my skin at this specific time because I am super pale from the winter time and not seeing the sun. But in the summer, I do get decently tan. Like, I do tan really well. So I feel like this color is definitely gonna be my summer go-to highlight. But to lighten that up a little bit, I'm gonna take the Forever Lit just to lighten up that back section a little bit. I'm very glad that they put this white shade in there because I feel like if you are super pale, you can use any of the colors and like just go ham on that color and then go over it with this white one to lighten it up a little bit, but you're still getting like a gold highlight, you're just going to be lightening up with that white shade. So that's something to think about if you are super pale. But I feel like these colors would look absolutely stunning on darker, sti sk ugh, darker skin tones. Like I just want to see pictures of this one. I just want to see a picture of this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one on darker skin tones. So basically all of them. But Oh, I'm obsessed. So now I'm gonna try this Daydream one as my blush topper right there. Oh, yes, honey. What do you guys think? Do you like right side or left side? Right side or the left side? Not gonna lie, I feel like the left side looks better just because I am really pale at this time, but this golden glow, honey, will be so she popping it all summer long, let me tell you something. So, uh, overall review, I give this glow kit a 10 out of 10. I am 
so impressed by the poppin, shapopin abilities of these highlights. I definitely feel like I like that white tone the best for my skin tone at the moment, but the others will definitely be making some appearances this summer and after my Dominican trip. So actually, about my Dominican trip, I will be making a really cool vlog, but that will be after my trip and it'll be on my other channel, More Joby. And if you have any other questions about anything go ahead and ask me down below or tweet me or dm me on twitter because i always usually reply thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already be sure to go down and subscribe and put on notifications to become part of the hashtag joby squad it is a lit squad full of ladies and gentlemen who've got their highlight on fleek let me tell you something and i will see you guys in my next video bye but i didn't forget y'all I did not forget. Let me just tell you, your highlight is still gonna be shapopping even when you got your meme on. <clears throat> Goodbye.